Ayan. So, hi everyone. So, this is Sir John, your Cyber P Professor. So, yung topic naman natin ngayon, it's about skeletal system. So, samahan niyo ako. Uh, review ulit natin kung anong meron sa skeletal system natin. Ayan. So, uh, our main objective is to describe the structure and the function of our skeletal, skeletal system. So, what would happen daw if humans did not have any bones. So, anong meron kapag wala tayong buto? Ano kaya mangyayari? Ano kaya itsura natin? Mm -hmm. So, let's find out. Oh, we might look like this, a blob. So, alam nyo ba yung blob? Or parang yung jellyfish. So, wala siyang buto, di ba? Ganun. So, parang wala siyang shape. Yan. So, yan yung magiging itsura natin kung wala tayong buto. Okay. So, ayan. How many bones do humans have? In an adult, we have, we have 206 bones. Sa infant, uh, 300. So, ibig sabihin, si infant, mas marami pa siyang buto. ba? Diba? While si adult, as 206. Ayan. So, the skeletal system daw, Uh, or the human skeleton is the internal framework of the human body. So, internal, ibig sabihin na sa loob ng katawan natin. So, sabi nga, a human adult has composed of 206 bones, which is subdivided in two divisions. So, anong division yun? We have the actual skeleton. So, under ng actual, so, yun nandyan yung skull, skull, vertebra natin, and ribs and sternum. So, ito yung actual skeleton. Yan, so total of 80 bones. And then the appendicular skeleton, or we have the upper and the lower extremities. So 64 bones sa upper, lo sa lower extremities natin, 62 bones. So total of 126. So kaya meron tayong 206 bones in an adult. Sa baby, a baby's body daw has about 300 bones at birth. So this eventually fuse or grow together to form the 200 206 bones that adults have. So, ibig sabihin, yung buto, pag sinilang tayo, uh, yung, as a baby, we have 300 bones, and as we grow older, nade-develop siya, yung bones niya are becoming one, or nag-fuse. Yun. Kaya, naging 206 bones. So, hindi na wala yun. Nag-fuse. Okay? So, are bones alive? So, what are bones are made up? Buhay nga ba ang mga buto? And saan ba gawa? Mm -hmm. Ano kaya to? So, cells. So, all living things are made up of cells. So, therefore, yung bones natin are living. Ayan. So, let's find out kung bakit nga ba, bakit buhay yung buto natin. Di ba? Bakit siya ganun? So, bone marrow. So, sinong mahilig sa bulalo rito? So, ayan. Ayan yung bone marrow. Ito yung semi-solid tissue which may be found in within the spongy or cancellous portions of bones. So yung sinisip-sip natin, lalo kapag kumakain tayo ng bululo. So yan yung bone marrow. So yan yung it make the blood cells. Okay? So yan din yung composition ng buto rin natin. So what are the functions of the bones? So ito yung mga main function. It supports the body, facilitates the movement, protect and protects the internal organs, produces blood cells, stores and releases minerals and fat. ba? Diba? So, yung bones natin, hindi lang siya sa pang support sa katawan natin, it facilitates also yung movement natin. Kaya mas mahal, mahalaga mapag-aralan din natin yung function of the bones. ba? Diba? And also, yung it protects our internal organs. Okay? Yan. So, yan yung mga functions of the bones natin. So, we have different classification of bones. Ano ba yung classification na yan? So, we have long bones daw, or uh, yung bones daw are classified by their shape. So, there are long bones. Yung long bones, yun yung typically mahaba na buto natin, of course. So, saan ba natin makikita yan? So, mostly, ito, sa humerus natin and sa femur. So, yun yung mga long bones. Short bones naman are generally cube shape. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, ito yung mga carpals and tarsals natin. And the flat bones, these are thin and planted, usually curved. Yan. So, like yung skull, 
o sternum, yung ribs. So, yun yung mga flat bones natin. Irregular bones naman, uh, it has irregular shape. Yan. Do not fit into the other bone classification. So, yung example natin dyan is the vertebra and hip. So, yung vertebra natin, di ba sa likod, sa spine, spine natin, so, hindi siya isang butong diretso. Uh, it is a... Uh, Uh, 33 bones connected para nagiging spinal yung pinaka-spinal natin. Yeah. Okay? So, how many bones in the human hand? Inan nga ba? So, sa hand pala natin, we have 27 bones. Ayan. Sa face naman, we have 14 facial bones. Ayan. So, what is the longest bone in your body? Anyone? No kaya? Longest bone. So, our longest bone is found on the thigh. Ayan, dito. Or sa legs na, ah, dito, sa sa thigh. So, yun yung femur na tinatawag, di ba? So, it is the longest bone and the strongest. What is the smallest bone naman in our body? The smallest bone And it can be found in the ear. Or ito, yung stirrup na tinatawag. So, yan. So, gano'n ba siya kaliit? Parang 0.5 cm. Parang gano'n. Yung centimeter yata. 0.5 cm lang yung laki niya. Yan. So, gano'n lang kalaki yung butong stirrup. So, ngayon. Ito, yung skeletal system natin. So, skeletal system. So, the cranium. Ayan. Or the skull. So, it protects the brain. Diba? Diba? So, mandible, ito, separate bone yung mandible, dito natin sa ilalim ng babaw na, sa ibaba ng skull, so the mandible, clavicle, so dito, dalawang bones clavicle sa shoulder natin, and yung scapula, ito yung, uh, mayan, nasa back, sa back natin, makikita parang triangular shape, the humerus, dito, sa arm natin, sa arm, the radius and the ulna, dito, sa lower arms, yan. So, yung ulna, ito yung malapit sa midline natin. Sa midline. Yung radius, ito yung sa lateral natin. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung skeletal system natin, uh, naka-anatomical position siya. Okay? So, yun yung palatandaan. Usually, kasi dito tayo nalilito sa labeling. Kung nasa ng radius and ulna. Yung ulna, uh, nasa midline siya. Yung radius is lateral. Uh, lateral. Okay? So, ribs, ito yung ribs natin. It protects yung kidneys, heart. Ayan. Sternum, yung sternum, ito yung bone na matakita na nandito sa chest natin. So, parang necktie shape siya. So, yun yung buto natin, yung sternum. Okay. The femur, ayan, found in your, ito, sa thigh. So, yun yung, ano, then patella. Ito, yung nasa gitna ng buto natin, sa knee or kneecap kung tawagin, the patella, and the tibia and the fibula. Okay? So, again, si tibia, ito yung nasa midline natin, then si fibula is nasa lateral. And then, we have the ischium, or yun dito, yung pinakadulo ng vertebra natin yan. Carpals, sa kamay, metacarpals and the phalanges, tarsals sa paa, metatarsals and phalanges. Okay? So, these are the part of our skeletal system. Yan. So, bone fracture. So, yung bone fracture, ito yung isa sa pinakatatakutan natin. Di ba? Lalo na kapag player ka. Once na nagkaroon ka ng injury, it might be the end of your career or mahirap makabalik sa game mo ulit. Di ba? Yan. Bone fracture. Or the break in a bone. So, we have, uh, may klase tayo niyan. We have the close or simple fracture. Yung break niya does not penetrate to the skin. Yung open or compound fracture naman, a broken bone that penetrates through the skin. Yan, mas masakit. Bone fractures are treated by reduction or immobilization or realignment of the bone. So, yun. So, pwede naman palang magamot. Pwede nating mahil yung broken bone natin. Okay? Kasi nga, ba diba sabi natin, bones are living. So, ibig sabihin, may self-healing siya, may self-medication siya. Basta ma-realign siya, Uh, mag-undergo siya ng, ng process or ng operation. So, yan. So, pwedeng mabalik. So, we have stages in healing of the bone. So, yan yun. Hematoma, fiber cartilage callus, the bony callus forms, and bone remodeling. 
So, ito yung mga stages natin. So, ibig sabihin, yung bone natin na fracture, pwede siyang ma-heal. ba? Diba? But, of course, it will take time. So, hindi naman on overnight lang, na sprain ka, na ano yung buto mo, so, kinabukasan, nilagyan mo lang ng yellow kay nagabihan. Kinabukasan, magaling na ba? So, hindi. So, it takes time. So, diba? So, kailangan siya i-treat din. Ayan. So, tips to maintain healthy bones. So, what are the tips? So, eat. Number one, eat lots of vegetable. Vegetables are the best source of vitamin C, which stimulates production of bone-forming cells. Ayan. So, importante. Kaya yung mga... Uh, mapapansin natin, yung mga ninuno natin, uh, mahaba ang buhay nila because of vegetable. So, kasi ngayon, unlike ngayon, yung kinakain natin is more on preservatives na, di ba? Dati, mas fresh. Yun, ibig sabihin, mas malakas yung pangangatawan nila. Yung buto nila, mas stronger. So, kaya kailangan natin kumain ng vegetable, healthy foods. Di ba? Number two, we must also perform strength training. So, kailangan, so, ang buto rin natin, kapag hindi mo siya ginagamit, hindi ginagalaw, parang kinakalawang din. ba diba? Magiging dense. So, ang kailangan natin, workout, ba diba? So, kailangan natin ng strength tra training. And number three, add D to your D daw. So, what is D? So, D stands for the vitamin D. Ayan. So, number four, start weight bearing exercise. So, weight exercises, pwede rin natin gawin. Number five, do not smoke and don't drink excessively. So, yun, yung smoking and drinking uh, excessively could also affect yung bone structure natin or yung bones natin, di ba? Yung development sa bones natin. So, nakakapagpa-dense ng buto. So, yan, medyo iwasan din natin yun. Then, get your bone mineral density tested. And number seven, consider medication. Ayan. So, halimbawa, may naramdaman tayo na medyo may pumipitek sa bones natin. Ganyan. So, pwede na natin ipacheck up kagad yun. So, once kasi na pinabayaan natin yun, pwede siya maging chronic. Ibig sabihin, uh, tumagal or mas maging malala. So, dapat, if ever na may maramdaman tayo na ganyan, something wrong with our movements, pwede na we, uh, i-consult, di ba, sa specialist. Ayan. Okay. So, those are the tips to maintain yung healthy bones natin. Ayan. So, ito yung mga reference natin. So, that's it. So, yun yung uh, nireview, na, nireview lang natin yung skeletal system natin, yung functions natin. So, I will be sending videos din uh, for, for this uh, lecture para mas maintindihan natin. Okay. So, thank you for listening. Okay. Bye-bye.